I am with Mr. Taiwo Oye Daily. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, that's correct. Now, he's the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Physical Policy and Tax Reforms that has been set up by our president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, I've got a few questions for you. I understand that tax is one of the ways to make money for the, com well, the country generally so that we can put back into the country and make the country better. Now, I'd like to know what are the recent changes that have been made in the Nigerian tax code? Yeah, so that's an interesting one. Um, we used to have the annual finance act where we were making changes every year. Uh, while that was well intended, it created another problem, which is uncertainty. So people just wake up one day and they see that they've changed some, some rules um, contrary to what they had in mind when they made their investment decisions. So what we've decided to do now is to just overhaul the task laws so that there will be no need to keep amending them every time. The most recent changes that we have introduced um, were really to provide relief, like suspending VAT on diesel, granting tax waiver on CNG because of the issues around quest subsidy remover, and also granting waivers and interest uh, penalty on outstanding liability. So they were mostly targeted at providing relief, um, and that we're going to continue. We're hoping to reduce uh, the multiple taxes and levies all over the place to a single digit and then automate the process of paying so nobody harasses you on the road and all of that. Essentially, the trust of what we're trying to do is can we make the environment conducive for everyone and reward people who are trying to do things legitimately by simplifying the process of regulation, permit, approval, paying taxes, rather than what we do now where we just create the environment for people to do the wrong thing and then get away with it. So we are rewarding bad behavior and we are punishing good behavior. We want to be able to change that. All right, that's actually a very beautiful one. Now, speaking about um, rewarding of good behavior and then punishing bad behavior, what exactly are the things that have been put for this bad behavior, so to speak, when people commit tax fraud? So we think one important step before you can do that effectively so it's not selective, so it's not random, is to use technology. So we're building a system of intelligence, we call it data for tax, even though it's not tax that is the focus. So this is going to collect intelligence within the system, uh, income, revenue, spending, expenditure, savings, and then we put all of that together with all economic activities, from import to traveling abroad, getting employment, so we actually know what our people are doing, not like anybody is trying to get private data, right? That will help us to do two things. Number one, we identify our poor people without having to go into villages and send cash, which oftentimes in Nigeria will get missing. So you can know who is poor and be able to intervene. If you want to do conditional cash transfer, you can do mobile money, right? Uh, you can transfer to them directly. Number two thing that will help us to do we we'll see people who have the ability to pay and they're not paying their fair share. True. And those guys are in the large percentage. We think that the poorest people and small business owners have carried the burden of tax in Nigeria for many years. It's time for them to rest. Let people who should have carried it all along now take it forward from here. So we are rewriting the personal income tax law. We're increasing the exemption threshold for individuals in terms of their income and for even small businesses where they won't have to pay any tax, whether it's VAT or income tax, so they can just have the ability to earn a good living without having to do anything on towards. And that, of course, will speak to the vast majority of our people uh, if you're able to address that. And that's our goal. About the Finance Act, how does this affect tax law? So before, what we used to have was you have one finance act and it amends, you know, a number of laws, sometimes 10, 12. Um, what we're doing now is the things that we have to do urgently, we've included them in a bill we call emergency economic intervention bill. Okay. And then the things that are not urgent, we're just rewriting the laws so there will be no need to keep amending every time. So we will not have the Finance Act uh, this year. We may not have it for some time to come because once you reform the law and it's fit for purpose, um, even though things change regularly, you won't have to amend the laws every time. You need to provide some level of certainty mm -hmm. for businesses, uh, for them to be able to invest and take it to the bank and say, well, you know, nothing will yeah. go wrong. The uncertainties that businesses like to manage are the ones that are not 
inflicted on them by government, right? So if, for example, you know, customers don't like what you produce anymore, that's an uncertainty. They can manage it. Mm -hmm. They just innovate, they reinvent themselves, and society is better for it. So that is the environment we're hoping to create. And we're looking forward to that beautiful Nigeria coming yes, soon. Yes, Thank yes. you so much for being here. I've got a personal question, though. Now, for me, I enjoy eating. And one thing I've noticed in Lagos especially is that we have um, consumption tax plus the VAT. Is that any different or...? That's one of the things we're trying to address. We think it's not right to have VAT and also have consumption tax. And one of the reasons why that is the case in some states is because they think that VAT should be their lawful tax to collect, but it's being collected at the center and it's not being shared equitably. So out of that frustration, they then introduce their own tax. But then this is a very typical case of when elephants fight, right? So the center is agreeing with the sub-national, then the people bear the brunt. That cannot be right. Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to do now is to get the states and the federal government to align. We're going to tell them what we think is best for Nigeria using data to drive it and global experience. And that's one of the reasons why we even want to amend the constitution, make it clear who should collect it, and nobody should have to duplicate that tax in any other form under any of these guys. So I would say, Fingers crossed, very soon that should go away so you Fingers can eat crossed. your food in peace. Please, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you for having me. Thank you.